tell people when I'm having a good day. Bro. You don't? No, I don't. Do you I tell them when you're having a bad day? I don't do that either, bro. So what you usually tell them? I tell them, shit, I'm okay. I'm, doing I'm okay. It. I'm living. I'm doing it. I tell people, man, it's easier to complain and be negative about something, but it's challenging to maintain that positivity. Very true. That's what it's challenging. Maintain it. You maintain your positivity, that's your blessing. Yeah. If you complain and you're negative all the time, that's your lesson. Yeah. You know, so I rather I rather be in a great mood regardless. Cause it's easy for me to just be like, uh, like traffic right now. The traffic right now is a little ridiculous, but at the same time, hey, that's just how Dallas traffic is. I'm saying you know, some people are gonna go down right? in a certain way, there's no point in complaining about it. Exactly, you know, man. Following through if you know it's gonna go down a certain way. Yep. That's called insanity. <laughs> insanity, exactly, man. Where are you from, bro? Uh California. Uh fuck you. <laughs> um Lone Beach area. Okay, okay. Yeah, what about I you? Hear, I hear it in your you hear it? <laughs> yeah, kind of sound like Snoop Dogg. Like Snoop Dogg. Dog. That's what's up, man. <laughs> I'll take it's that dope. as a compliment. Dope, yeah, yeah, man. I love California. That's cool, man. What about you? I'm from here. I'm from Dallas. Man, you still like it or are you over it? I'm over this shit, man. You over it? Okay. Yeah, we about to do it. I was just talking to somebody uh, okay. earlier about, uh, like, I don't know how, my, how much longer I'm going to be here. Right. Because I'm, I'm gonna be here my entire life. I, I feel it. Here, mm -hmm. Go to school here. Didn't didn't want to go to school here, but that's just how it turned out. Right. And since it's about to end, now I need to make sure that I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to do in order to do what I'm supposed to have to do. I understand that, man. Yeah, man. I tell people, you know, like. I talk to a lot of people, you know, if they're from here, they either still love it or they over it. And the reason why they're over it because they haven't really adventured out and done more. Exactly. So I get that. And, you know, that's what you got to do. And I, and I tell people, in my opinion, if you want to live somewhere, keyword, go out there for about two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Depending on your job or your career, because you, you got to get your own experience in it. You, you sh don't go out there for, you know, a weekend a couple of days what somebody told you get your own yeah, experience yeah. in because that's actually what i'm doing right now i currently live in arizona but i'm actually visiting i've been out here for almost a month and a half okay. and this is like this is a vacation slash getaway thinking about living out here so i'll be leaving second week of march so i'm getting my experience boy. man i got a boy uh, he's actually a co-worker i just met him yesterday okay uh, no i just met him friday night that's what's up uh he's from new york and he was like shit bro I love it here, man. It's right? Like I was like, no way, bro. It's, I'm it's, actually trying to go where you're from. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, I like it. I like Dallas. You know, yeah, the, other than the cool. traffic, just like everywhere else, the traffic is, you know, they crazy out here. Nice. But if you if you could drive in Dallas, I think you could drive anywhere. <laughs> Houston, bro. I heard about Dallas, that, too. Right? Exactly, man. So I'm definitely getting my experience, and so far it's been cool. You know, I tell people when it comes to these drivers, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, they crazy, man. They crazy. Uh, which way? This one? Uh, that one? That one? Yeah. That way? That one. Okay, okay, okay. Right, right. Got it, got it, got it. It's throwing me off. It's throwing me off a little bit. Right, right. I'm pretty sure it would have directed us regardless, but I ain't gonna put us in danger though. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the traffic out here is crazy, man. When it comes to 95% of them, don't put their signal on. They always go average 20 plus over the speed limit, oh, for sure. and they're distracted on their phones at the same time they're doing it. And if they do put their signal on, it's at the last minute or they forget to turn it off. <laughs> I'm like, damn. And I'm a great driver, man. I can say that with confidence. Yeah. But when you know you a great driver, it's not you you got to worry about. You it's these other people. Else, right. And, and you know what's crazy? <laughs> what's that? Bro, <laughs> this is not even the worst of it. Now, think about it like rain, whenever it rains. It could be drizzling out. I heard. Whenever people rain, whenever it rains, people forget to how, how to drive completely. They say they never learn, people bro. told me they either drive fast, fast or slow. they drive slow or people just choose not to drive they at all. Drive. That's they gonna be me. Drive. I'm choosing not to drive because Wednesday and Thursday is supposed to uh, snow. <laughs> yeah, this Wednesday and Thursday, something like that. So I'm like, no, I'm good. 
Yeah, double check the app, but I think I seen it on the weather app. I'm like, and then I had a passenger say it too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it does say it said like 75 percent or something like that. Yeah. Say 70. Yep. So I, I'm definitely going to, I'm going to go hard these few days and then boom, taking that off. There's no point in, in driving. <laughs> Especially in like, well, just in Dallas in general, like in the snow. Right. There's no point because we don't have the infrastructure for it. It's going to take you two hours to get somewhere that was 30 minutes away. Right. Like, there's no point. Like, people drive crazy as hell. Right. It's like, you know, they get in a car and they decide that they just probably might not want to go anywhere. They drive like that. Right. And it's just crazy. Yeah, man, they got issues. What's so, your good for? You say you're from Arizona. What y'all in Dallas? Hey man, I'm visiting, um, getting my feel of it. Yeah. You know, I I like it because you just want to move somewhere new. Yeah, you know, I love I love Arizona, yeah. but what I like about Texas, y'all just don't give a fuck. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Especially like especially when it comes to this uh, you know, this situation we're going through for the past 25 months. They don't care about that. They, they people are over the jab, you know what I'm saying? They're over the people pushing the agenda, you know, all of that. So Bro, I like that. Like, this seems like an amusement park for niggas who do not give a fuck. All right. You can carry a gun with no license, no permit. Guarantee you, it's about 30 guns on this road. <laughs> I heard. Probably more. And that's another reason why people say, don't. if they do cut you off, don't blow your horn because they can follow you. Oh, <laughs> they can yeah. follow you. And I'm good at protecting myself, but I ain't got time for that unnecessary altercation. Right. We ain't got time for that. <laughs> it's like I did not wake up today thinking somebody gonna pull a gun out on me because they pulled out in front of me. <laughs> right. I guess people with guns now think they invincible. It's always been like that. Right. Once you get a gun, your mentality about certain shit. That's why I tell people like people don't realize the gun is technology, so it has negative energy. Even if you have not ever shot somebody, you're like, man, I wish somebody would mess with you. You're bringing that negative energy in your life. That's fair. That's Real fair. talk, that's man. Fair right? That's fair, man. Because I get it. You want to do it. You want to do it to protect yourself. That's good. Yeah. But they're they got the they got the wrong yeah. mindset. Right? right? See me? I'm protected from the most high, my higher self in the universe. I personally ain't got no gun. Now I'm not sitting here saying that I need to get one or not. If it happens, cool. But they got my back. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I don't need that kind of negative energy in my life. <laughs> right? <laughs> Real talk, man. Yeah. Still get a flick just because. Hey, just you know, don't have that negative uh mindset. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's the negative mindset. Because I feel like a lot of niggas like who just they were on shit before, and yep. then they got a gun, and now like oh, I'm hard, like I can do whatever. They really do that. And think about this: it's to the point where what? They're they're ten fingers down now, five fingers down. What about ten toes down? Nobody wants to fight anymore, like old school. Yeah. They rather just shoot you. You know what I'm saying? You got everybody thinking they hard. It doesn't matter what age, but I will say the teenagers and these young 20 year olds, yeah, they think they hard. It's like, dude, really? But when you put that gun down, you're scared. You know, remember what remember what Pop said in Friday? Put that gun down, son. <laughs> and put your dukes up. <laughs> Real talk, man. Oh man, they don't want to do that anymore, man. And even that, you really want to fight anyway. But it's that it's the instant gratification. Instant gratification, like, man. You, you uh, I feel like I feel like just like the current state, not even social media, but just like society in general. Right. We're moving in such a fast a fast way that even our nostalgia cycle is getting shorter. Yes. Why is Y2K coming back and it, it's just twenty years. Exactly. It's literally twenty years and he calling this he calling shit from the early two thousands, bitch. Right. Like, nah, that, that's weird. That's yep. weird and as wild as fuck. Right. So, like, since things are starting to get faster and more, like, fighting takes too much energy. It takes too much time. It really does, man. 
It really does, and it takes a lot out of you. It's like I didn't wake up thinking I want to fight now today too. Yeah, but now right. you got this other thing that's trying to match up energy. You know what? Right. Instead of like instead of matching that energy, I'd rather just. Go. But you know what? Word of mouth, word of mouth is still powerful. People don't realize that you can talk yourself out any situation if you know if you know how to communicate with people. I tell people learn people's energy because negativity always escalates negativity. Positivity always overrides negativity. You so so you know negative people, people who live their life because people who have guns for the most part when they got that negative uh, mindset. They really live in their life in fear. They're the ones really yeah, scared. Yeah, they're they really scared. are. They, yeah. they're There's scared. No reason why you should be you should be looking over your shoulder. And you hold on to right. They're the ones paranoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't even have no gun. I'm not paranoid. I tell people, way to think about it's things. all about your mindset, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. You can create your own heaven and hell on this earth with your level of thinking. Yep. Yeah. So like, even when people say, man. Dallas is bad, man. Dallas is bad. It all depends too on on your perspective, yeah. because I live in Arizona. People say, "Oh, Arizona is bad," but the only bad part about Arizona is the South Side. Now, of course, other 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 sides are a little bit crazy too, but it's the South Side. I heard about Oak o- Cliff out here could be I'm pretty bad. Old right? Cliff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you'll have people where. If they live on a certain block, their block is good, but the next block is bad or that area. Right. I've seen that. Yeah. Like even in like Cali, like yeah, Cali, Atlanta, yeah. same shit. Same shit. It's all about your mindset, man. That's why I tell people like most people in life when they come across me, they either like me, appreciate me, respect me, love me. You know what I'm saying? I really don't have people going crazy out on me because it's my mindset. And people are like, man, how are you able to do that? Because when you negative, you attract negative, negative situation, negative people in your life. You go basically whatever energy and vibration frequency you're on, that's what you're gonna attract. Yeah. That's who you're gonna attract. Oh, yeah. You are who you are a vibrational attraction to. That's really just how it is. Yeah. That's why, man. And it, you, you gotta gonna practice align, it. If you if you think in that certain way, you're gonna yep. like subconsciously align yourself. That's so true, man. Hey, before I drop you off real quick, I got a question. Do you have a YouTube account where you watch YouTube videos? Yeah. Do me a favor, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You like what we talking about? You're gonna like my channel, man. Absolutely, bro. I, love, I love talking about like I got I'm you. A sociology major, so like I, I, I love, love it. Talking about like understanding people and yes. how they think. Yeah. Like, like why things are the way that they are. Yes. Are. All right, so type in the original unique mind, and you spell that T H E space O R I G I N A L original space unique U N I Q U E space M I N D like your mind, the original unique mind. I have a white collar shirt on. Let me know you found me. Oh, you're free time, man. Check out my video. I tell people my channel is about waking people up in this world and also inspiring folks on how to become the best version of themselves. I tell people, I'm not here to change your belief or anybody else's belief. I'm just trying to help people to see life, people, and situations in another perspective. Right. That's what life is all about. That's just like I just gave you right now. That's what I'm here for too. Yep. <laughs> That's my whole job is to change perspectives, to understand it first. That's really just it. The because the way we were taught, the way we were raised, the way yeah. we were programmed, doesn't mean that's the only way of life. Right. There are so many ways. And sometimes we we must unlearn to relearn. Nice. Real talk, man. Nice. That's what I'm all about, man. <laughs> so I appreciate it, dude. Of course, man. Of course. I, I'm talking. To, I'm talking to everybody this year. Yeah, I love it. Because last year, do it, man. Dude, last year was crazy. Like I bet. Uh, and everybody, and everybody's on this, is in the same shit. Like we all feel in the same. Yes. Thing. Like. It's, it's hard for everybody right now. So. And remember when you say when you first got in, you say, I usually don't tell people if I'm doing good. I just tell them I'm doing all right. Yeah, like I'm everything. Right. Now you might have a different perspective. You might start, you might remember what I said to start telling people because you can even, you get to the point. Else better, better by saying, saying some shit. Because like even if I'm not doing great, I still tell people I'm doing great. I have said it so much that I believe and I know that I'm doing great regardless yeah. because it's a waste of time complaining, man. Yeah. It really, and of course, if I do have my moment, this is what I do personally. I turn off the app, 
I go unplug from the world and unplug from people. So that way I can get back on track. Yeah. I raise my frequency level back high because I tell people, nobody in this world, and I repeat, nobody deserves my low to negative energy. And I'm working on that through trial and error. Fair. Real That's talk, true. right? <laughs> Hey, I appreciate nobody that. Nobody deserves any, any right? Fuck yeah. no, right? Right? Even if you tell people, hey, I'm not in the best mood right now. I need some space. Yeah. If they don't give you they, your space, then that's their fault. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be honest with yourself right. to be honest with others. I got that's, you. That's very Real talk, man. <laughs> man, it was a good combo, man. That's good talking good, to you. Man. I got you, man. Where you want to get dropped off? Uh, this is good right here. Right here, man. I appreciate the subscribe, man. And hey, hey, you hey. take it easy. I got you, man. <laughs> I will, man. You too, man. <laughs> you too. You see that, y'all? That's what I'm talking about. I respect people like that. Let me repeat. I respect people like that. Because I'm telling y'all, that's what life is all about. Perspective. Perspective. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't even matter. Just because the way we were taught, the way we were programmed, the way we were raised, doesn't mean that's the only way to look at life. Some people are either one-sided or closed-minded. You got to open up your mind like a can of beans. Open up your mind like a, the, like the organic can of beans. You got to open it up. You see what I'm saying? Just because you've never heard what I'm saying, just because... You don't believe it doesn't mean it's not correct. At the end of the day, we all don't know everything. We're just people like me. Once you have your spiritual awakening, I'm going to say that. Once you have your spiritual awakening, you now have a different perspective on life. You look at life, people, and situations in a whole new perspective. You see what I'm saying? No matter what. And that's how you live your life. So if you if you have negative uh, situations that go on in your life, change your perspective, change your mindset, work on maintaining positivity. I know sometimes like me, for example, I'm gonna speak for myself. I'm real conscious. I'm on conscious level three and four, which means that I'm spiritual. I've had my spiritual awakening. I'm on my spiritual journey and I've been on my spiritual journey six, six, six years old, six years old. I've been on my spiritual journey and I'm on conscious level four, which means that I communicate like I'm doing right now. There's people like us that we are communicating. You see what I'm saying? Because we're in the age of Aquarius, a.k.a. Gemini. So we're in the age of information and communication. People like us, we're not afraid to speak our truth. Even if you don't agree with us, even if you disagree, even if you try to gaslight us, we don't care. We are here to speak our truth how we feel. It's how I feel. My truth my take, my perspective, my feelings, you know what I'm saying? My mindset at the end of the day, my perspective. All right, y'all? It's your boy, the original unique mind. Comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell on the side and click all. Gone.